the Space Race Quickie. Now what, you may ask, is the Space Race Quickie? I will tell you. It's some really cool chunks of film from the Space Race in the 1960s. It really started with the Russian dog, Laika. Laika. Несколько дней радиосигналы передавали биение ее сердца. Она жила вне земли, но тогда еще не был возможен возврат оттуда. Uh, that's an awesome video. I mean, there's, there's, there's no other way to describe it. It's awesome. And the Russians, of course, followed that by sending up Yuri Gagarin. The man who won a place in history by going in orbit around the Earth came to London to visit the Soviet exhibition. Clapping in Russian fashion, he acknowledged the cheers. So the first man in space was... Yuri Gagarin, first man to conquer space. Modest, just a family man. It was no secret, either in Moscow or anywhere else, that Russia was ready to make the attempt. At 7 minutes past 7 a.m. our time, the 450-ton rocket went up. Right, and the Americans were getting left behind. Now, they sent up John Glenn and Alan Shepard, but they also did this. Introducing the donut, an inflatable space station, one of the newest things in the American space drive. It'll be sent into Earth orbit, and the crew taken on board in actual flight, brought to it by an Apollo capsule, with no more fuss than changing trains at crew junction. And this. Unveiled in Las Vegas was the astonishing X-20 dinosaur. Dinosaur, oh! It'll fly in space, once it's been rocketed there, and a pilot will guide it back to Earth. These things never really materialized, if I remember correctly. Okay, during the 60s, while we were trying to get away from Earth, others were trying to come here. It might have been that the Martians had landed. The police were taking no chances. Six unidentified objects were found dotted across the south of England. 15-year-old Neil Beatty found this one. It looked like a flying saucer and certainly smelled like something out of this world. A year ago, the village of Warminster in Wiltshire hit the headlines. Unusual showers of meteorites rained down, followed by reports of saucer sightings. Immediately, a team from the British Unidentified Flying Objects Association went into action. Let's be very clear here. They had a British Unidentified Flying Objects Association, and they leapt into action. But that particular time, it turned out to be a hoax. Cut a long story short. The space race ended with Neil Armstrong walking on the moon in 1969. Okay, engine stop. Roger, we copy. It was beautiful from here. Tranquility, over. Tranquility base is. The Eagle has landed. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. Time to step off the land now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. And a big... High five for British Pathé. So there you have it, the Space Race Quickie. Now you can find all of those films and more right here. But for now, click here to see last week's highlight film or here to see the Cold War.